must have plugged this lead in and out more than a hundred times this week. In this video, we're going to add a simple button to solve that problem. We got this tip from Stephen Benke and he commented this in one of our videos. So thank you so much, Stephen, for that comment. It's really saved us some time. We have a project here and here is the reset button. So you can see here it's displaying some information. When I press the button, it resets. To bring this up as a mass storage device, you have to unplug it, hold the button, plug it back in again, release the button. As I said, I've done that hundreds of times. Now all I need to do is hold down the reset button, hold down the button on the Pico, release the reset button and release the button on the Pico. Oh, that is so much better. You'll need a momentary switch and I got a little bag of them with a lot in for about a pound. That looks a bit like spaghetti, so let's get a clean setup. So we'll put the switch in just here. The third pin from any side is ground, so I'm just going to choose the third pin here. Third pin. And I'm going to connect that to ground. Then one side of your switch gets connected to the ground as well. And then I'll put that here, um, because this full rail is all connected together. The next pin is the run pin, and that's pin 30. This pin is, right at the end is 21, so we'll go 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So that just goes here. And then we'll connect this to the other side of the switch, just here. And we're done. Let's test it. So we'll hold down the reset button. Hold down this button on the Pico, release this one and release the Pico. And there we go. Oh, that's satisfying. A lot more simple. Thank you so much for the tip, Stephen. That's really helped us out. And I really hope that helps someone else out as well. Team.